<laughs> You're a trifle for that. <laughs> hey, yo, this is Stuck in Riddle yeah. Podcast, a platform for entrepreneurs, innovators, move makers of African descent. We hear stories, ideas, and experiences how we can break the mold, how we can break barriers. Listen, it's quite a chill and chill episode, man. This is uh, this is different. I got Sir Charles in the building. What up? What up? Uh, I got a beautiful young lady in the building. We're gonna get to know her in a minute. I forgot her name already, bro. I'm terrible. She sucks. Hey. Well, my name is Helen. Thank you, Helen. Welcome. Helen. <laughs> That's a beautiful accent, Welcome. Helen. Where are you from? I'm from London. <laughs> London lives in the team. <laughs> hey, London teams. Cross. London Bonda. teams. <laughs> you didn't bring a second now. We got Tutu in the building. I'm here. Helen is Tutu's cousin. Right? Hey, cousin. Hey. <laughs> what I want to know, you know, are we six feet apart? Because you know what I'm saying? I, we're definitely not six feet apart. <laughs> she just came from the is UK. Three feet oh, three feet. It's three feet, no? Is it three feet? It's three foot. In the UK? <laughs> um, this well, I think it's three foot. Was it was it there already when you left? What do you mean? Uh, uh, um, corona. It was, but so okay, you like the day ran before away. I left, you ran away. It went up to about two seventy three. The but that's day like, before the, you left? Like two days before I left. And you but that's the, that's the whole of the UK, so okay. just London. Oh, okay. True, so it's true. like basically outside of London. But in London now, the cases are quite high. I can't remember what the numbers are. Where are you? you I'm from Enfield, so my my area is only 27. People? Yeah. We only have 10 in, in the state of Maryland. No, think, no we got 38. No, you we don't. Got, oh, we went up to 38? Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. In the state more. of Maryland. It might be actually more, it, but it was 38. Yeah, that was like See, it's people like you are spreading today, right? this thing because we have to talk about this. <laughs> Tutu said she doesn't stay at home. Wow. No, listen, listen here, okay? All you gotta do is just make sure nobody sneezes on you, nobody coughs on you. When you go to the gas station, you take your gloves, you take your Lysol wipe, you wipe the pump, sanitize your hand, bam, that's it, simple. No, it but ain't that simple. The, the Sagittarius in me, bruh, I cannot stay home. So what you been doing? What, what, what have we been doing? Well, she's been going to work, and me and yeah. Tom have been at home. So my job doesn't care about us. I've been watching Nigerian films. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's such the that's the that's the move. That's I've the quarantine and chill. That's so, the quarantine and chill move mm-hmm. right there. Just, just put a, a whole series dandytv.com. <laughs> Roku <Rock-o-tv. laughs> <Rock-o-tv. laughs> yeah. bruh. No, so seriously. wait, 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 hold on, hold on, Tutu, I got it, cause. You can't just rely on hand sanitizer and whatever. I actually bought, you know, latex gloves, you know, the joints? Yeah. yeah and put it in my those. trunk. Put them in my glove in my glove compartment. Yeah, like I have like a whole Ziploc bag full of them. And I have Lysol wipes, like the big pack. And then I have Lysol wipes low. Take as you go. And sanitizer. Like, I ain't playing no games. You've been partying? I know you've been partying. How? I can't party. Like, I feel really bad because she came for her birthday and we can't go nowhere. Like, everything's Dang. different. Yeah. Well, to be honest, I'm not really, I'm not really like, oh, I can't celebrate my birthday. I still went on holiday, so. Hey, thanks. You've yeah. been here before. Yeah, well, Why when I, start, I was younger. You know, so my accent is starting to patrol. You know, you've been here before. <laughs> 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 no, I came here when I was what? I was like six. No, you weren't that young. I was in secondary school when I came. That's a long time between now But anyway, and it was long. It was really long. Like two, so like, two, I was probably like three. 14, 13. So she was about 12, 13 when I came. That's okay. the last yeah. time I came. Okay. I mean, but how do you feel now being in the States without having anything to do? You came on holiday, but there's nothing to do. There's, you can't go to the mm. movies. You can't go to the mall. You can't go to the club. You can't go to restaurants. What are you doing? There's something to do because I'm lit. Well, well, <laughs> my auntie's house is not boring, so. Yeah, I know. So wait, wait, hold on. Where are you, where you from from? Where am I actually from? Like where your Tell people about yourself, from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from Sierra Leone. Hey, hey Salon in the from... building. Hey, and we all lined up too today. Hey. Yes. Green, Cut. white, and blue. <laughs> oh, oh, two, three, For two. For once in my life, I'm overshadowed. Yeah. <laughs> and Salon you got people. another Salon person sitting in the audience Shout too. out to uh, Tutu's sister in the building. Shout out to my yeah. sister Tom. Hey, Tom. She, she was just revealing her age. She didn't know She she didn't know what what, what was. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know what education. Oh, she, oh, oh, she, did, she didn't. She didn't know. Um, she didn't know Alaska, Alaska was a state. state. I didn't say so, that. so apparently, there's <laughs> 48 <laughs> states. <laughs> That's not Hampton. That's not Hampton education for you. <laughs> mm. Alaska is a state for all y'all youngs like now. We're gonna do a TikTok video later. <laughs> that's, cause that's all they know. That's all her generation knows. TikTok, TikTok. No, nah, but um, so Sierra Leone, born in, in in London though. Yeah. Dang, that's tough, man. That's tough. I'm, I'm gonna watch out, but it's okay. How many, you know, as far as like, I feel like we gotta address this the, you know, disparaging racism that's come with 
quarantine and corona and this whole virus it being from wuhan china quote unquote is that what it's, it's actually from? from wuhan china though yeah mm-hmm. i thought that's people where just said wuhan mm-hmm. like, like oh. no wuhan that's where wuhan. it started oh oh yeah. i so, do, do y'all know the story Choo-choo. of corona <laughs> i feel like you should educate us so what you been doing Tutu? what you been doing with your time um working why does um, your, your job not respect you oh my god my job don't respect me at all it's ghetto but literally, I just feel like, okay, so like, I work in the healthcare field. Uh-huh. So it's like, I just feel like it's just kind of like, we're not supposed to really be out. And like, all administrative and everybody just chilling at home, getting paid. And I got to like, suffer and like, leave the house <laughs> and all this stuff. And it's just like, it's not fair. Like, dang, let me stay home and like, just, I mean, I don't know. But I really commend the healthcare workers because it's tough. Yeah, like, it's any tough. cough I hear... I'd be like paranoid, bruh, like relax. But yeah, I've just been working and then just like trying to make the best out of it. Uh, did, did y'all run out of masks? Cause that's the thing now people run like hospitals and they run out of masks mm-hmm. and hand sanitizer and things. Mm-hmm. We got like loads, like loads, loads, loads of gloves. I'm I'm always I think that's every why five seconds, every five the hospitals seconds. are running out of it. Cause, Cause people are like, known people are just buying it. Yeah. Yeah. Bulk. The, what is it? What is it in the UK? Bad people, you know, people just buying bad. Yeah. <laughs> 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 buying bad. <laughs> that's a um, that's a UK slang, right? Yeah. Like my okay. Yeah, people will say, oh, loads of people are buying bad masks. What does that mean? Like, a masks, lot of masks. A lot. Oh. So I'm trying to figure out. I was still trying to figure out why you be saying proper. Because that's what I use. It but what does proper mean? Like good, like proper. you know, authentic. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know where it is. No, like, like I, I know. know I know what she be wanting like, to say because whenever she talks, I know where it is. To me. But it's just, I, you don't know how to explain. Yeah, like, every yeah. time she says something to me, she be like, "Like, what does Jai mean? Explain Jai. Jai. I'm so Jai. Like, like, yeah, basically saying like, oh, I'm Jai. I'm like, I'm Jai good or whatever. What like, does that mean? Berry. I'm like berry. So yeah, that's so what I'm trying to figure out. Is, is proper berry? Because you always like, like I'm, saying I'm proper. berry or really. Okay, there you go. It's like another word for very or really. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. You can't explain some slangs. You just can't explain some slangs. I'm just like, yeah. What's what's the what's the funniest meme y'all seen though? Like during this. Before we get to that, what you been doing? I've been working. That's true. My job don't respect us either. That's insane. That's ghetto. They say I'm essential. I'm like, nah, ain't essential. Yeah, they say I'm essential. Send me home. You guys have to drive to work. You get the chance to drive. Like if I go back to London, I have to take the train. Oh yeah. I take the train and I work in the hospital. I saw a video on long time. Dude went like this and was like on the little train pole. I was yeah. like, bro, we're wrecking. <laughs> I'm punching Oh, yeah. You. Was it the guy on the train or yeah. the, the bus? Yeah, he took his mask off. His mask off and then was like, licked his hand, rubbing. touched the pole. Where I said, bro, I need you someplace. I, I know it's in it Europe. Was, wow. It had to be What color was the bus? <clears throat> yeah, it probably was. Because <laughs> UK people don't shock me nowadays. Dang. Yeah, they wild out. Like they, they do some crazy stuff when you're on public transport. But at least y'all still getting paid. My bad to cut you off. Nah, still- but that's the thing though. If you if you out of work, you probably not gonna get a check. That's why they they cancel all these loans and stuff. Bro, look at me. Two jobs. Both my jobs. Close. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, but shout out, shout out to the administrators in charge. Apparently, I'm supposed to be getting a check, but we'll see next Wednesday. That's, that's Talk about nice. checks. Trump said he gonna hand over a check. So what's good, Trump? Because uh, Dang, what's, so what's really broke, broke. tea? Shout out to savings, man. <laughs> this is a good time for the savings. Like shout savings comes savings. into play with this. How Damn. much savings you got in your bank account? I was, I was, I was yeah, talking about this. <laughs> I was so. Nah, stay, I, I'm not going. I'm not going to ask that. But you know, we got two guys, two girls. If you're dating somebody, mm. when is a proper time to, to talk about? Because um, you know, we had this argument. In my my all guys group chat. We talk about um, what was what was, the, what was the topic? Like loans and how much you make. Mm-hmm. How much you make? How when when is a proper time to disclose your salary to somebody you're dating? Before oh. Before you start getting, mm, nah, I no, I would say before you start getting serious, you got to see where the, where the relationship is going. Like, if y'all want a relationship, like, if, or, like if we just met and it's our first date, I'm not going to sit here and ask you what your, like, credit scores and stuff like that. But, like, if y'all establish that y'all want to take it to the next level and then, you know, like, as time progresses, then maybe you might have a conversation about I don't, that. I don't have to ask. Why? Google does it for me. Oh, my What? Goodness. What you mean? See? You go... <laughs> Come on. No, 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 no. So, look, what do you do? 
Oh, I'm, I'm this. But it's different. Okay. Like in my field, in my field, you can have no degree, no no certification, but, no experience, and make six figures. But you work in IT. 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 That's so different. Cybersecurity. I, yeah. IT, you're guaranteed to make at least, yeah, you are. at minimum, 60 to 70. At so minimum. once you tell someone you work in IT, everyone They said, yeah, yeah. As soon as somebody be like, I work in IT, be like, oh, for uh, real. Uh, uh, like, okay. everyone knows. The like, drawers come out. That's anywhere in the world. <laughs> Listen. Did you hear what your cousin said? Oh, yeah. She said, "Repeat yourself." What did you say? So basically, we're having a couch talk. He does couch talk where we basically like have like it's Episodes just like a. We do a what talk? Couch talk. So basically, oh, we sit okay. on the couch and we just like lawless, yeah. no ratchet type stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So they was asking like, in what stages is it okay? Like, what are the different types of stages? And I said, in all stages, we fucking. Period. I don't feel like there's a time. Wow. Like, I don't feel that, like. That was the face of approval. Okay, listen. <laughs> wow. I don't feel like there's a time where somebody should give me like, oh, when I can. Like, if I'm feeling you and there's attraction, there's she's chemistry. Pat- well, everyone's different. She's patting it. She said she can meet you today in oh. a club. And if there's, chemi- if there's chemistry. Nah, you stretched it. <laughs> That's what exactly. That was, she sat on that couch don't and said. Don't be shy, Helen. I'm not shy. I don't do that. Don't, no, listen. Well. I don't. Know. I, live, everyone's different. Live if your you want to do that, that's up to you. That's your business. I don't do that. So Have maybe face. that's what makes me. Me and Charles saw something else in her. Boring, <laughs> I don't do Listen, that. I, know, I saw some approval somewhere. If you see somebody, really? I'm not saying oh, no. I personally done it, but I she support it. That. If you've done that, life, if you see you. somebody and you just like, damn, this person is fine, and what's up? I'm just trying to figure out what's 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 happening, what's popping. Like, so you've never you've never met a guy. Helen, you've never met a guy <laughs> in one night and never felt so attracted to him that you wanted to explore further? I've met, a, yeah, like I've met a guy and I've felt attracted. I will exchange numbers and everyone goes their own way. Like that's <laughs> that's the thing done. No, hey, come over to my house. I got some suya no. and some drinks. No. They do suya in UK? No. You got suya in UK, right? Yeah. 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 No, you want to come inside for some coffee? No. We're not drinking or coffee. Tea. You're not coming to my house at 9, 11 o'clock. Now nah, you need to be giving me some alcohol. Wow. <laughs> I don't need that. I, first of all, I live about him with my mom. No. I still live about him with my mom. If he has house. If I, I'm not going to your house on the first night. Or the second. Or the third. <laughs> So by the fifth, you're there. Like no, <laughs> like it takes a while for me to be like, oh, okay then. Uh, you know what? This is a couch talk topic. Let me. Let, let, yeah. Because let, like you know what I'm saying. The thought I was on the thought just going back to the how much you make that you know what I'm saying it's like engagement, mm. but then I was corrected like if you're going to discuss loans if you're going to discuss credit score I think credit score is like first date Important. really first date wow. what's your credit but, score but what if you go on a first date with somebody yeah but they can like, improve within the time that they're with that's you that's true and my follow up question improve. is what are you doing about your true. white credit score or your loans you are you serious about paying your loans off. Well, if you're not if you yeah but I wouldn't that. bring up something like that on the first date because it's awkward first date is an interview. No, oh my god, Lord! Well, I mean, first date is an interview. That's first impression, though. That's like make or break. First date, because like, we... that first date can determine if you want to talk to that person or not. Yeah. What's your first date? What's your ideal first date? What's the first date for you, Helen? Um, seafood bro. <laughs> Lobster. <laughs> no, but <laughs> I don't Flowers. mind. To be fair, if someone took me to go eat seafood, I was gonna be food. I, you'd be my best friend forever. Seafood. Good. Yeah, I don't mind. Seafood, bro. I you already know the I'll crab eat. legs. They gotta put the crab legs. No, in. I think <laughs> no. It's, seriously, I think Sierra Leoneans have a, a a mean fetish when it comes to seafood. Like that's I, every I, black girl. A mean what? Fetish, like a serious attraction to uh, something. Like a fetish. Yeah, yeah, I know what it means. Okay, yeah. So all Sierra Leoneans, I feel like, like seafood. That's false. I like seafood, but I don't like... Oh, no, I, I kind of believe to. that because a lot of Sierra Leoneans do like... Like sea. And like, the main thing like, is like fish. Because we put a lot of fish, fish like, and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I, but I'm the one like Sierra Leone that fish. doesn't eat fish. I don't eat fish at all. Don't you? Not at oh, all. Good. I hate it. I Why? hate the way it tastes. You don't eat fish at all? At all. It's disgusting. You're wild. You could eat too much fried fish no, back I do, in the day. I that's do, why. I do, I do, I you ate too, much, you ate too much fried fish back in the day, so no. now you don't like it. Just like I don't like a saba leaf. That's that. Wow! So you don't so Listen, you know, do you know what no. it is? I, I kind of understand where she's coming from because I like cassava leaf, but I prefer the Potato oil cream one cream. to the palm oil one now yeah. because my mom's cooked it so many times that I'm tired of eating the it. The oil one. 
versus the pomo. What's the difference? That there's one that doesn't have pomo. You mean in it. like I mean I like the one with coconut milk and peanut. That's butter. what I mean. Yeah, like, okay, co- yeah okay. that's oh. the oil one. That coconut. That milk That one's the best be. one. Yeah. What? what? Yeah, Especially you're, when it's like you're tripping. With you with the dry fish, the meat. She don't eat cassava leaf. So y'all don't cook it. I eat it, eat but it's not but her that's, first. It's not like my top. Do you know why? Like, everybody's just so. It's the leaf. most common thing. Food. If you go to any Syrian yes. person's house, they have cassava leaf in their fridge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or their freezer. Mm-hmm. I'm good. They always cook it. It's like the easiest thing for them to cook. You cook can, can we name the top five Sierra Leonean dishes? Potato. Potato leaves. Thank you. Potato leaf. Cray yeah. Cray. Cray Cray, thank you. Okra soup. That's enough for one. No. Yeah. Let's just say that. Let's just say that. Like, no, okra soup, yeah. <laughs> Huh? No. Oh, so I can do yeah. food, that's it. You know we get made fun of all the time for how many dishes we serve with rice. They say all we eat is rice. <laughs> <laughs> you know there was a post. Thomas just told me there was a post on Twitter. <laughs> there was a post on Twitter, and someone was like, "Y'all really eat okra soup with rice?" And then somebody yeah. re- uh, commented back and was like, "Laugh sincerely, on." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Bruh, wait, I, can we go back? Can, hold on, I know like." Okra soup on rice. Tola. Yeah, you can eat with fufu rice. You don't like tola? No, tola is one of my favorites. What? Y'all tripping. I don't remember the last time I ate it. Probably when I was young. Yeah, you. Anyway. Fry soup. Anyways. Pamain fry soup is granat soup. I mean, granat soup is global. What's the what's the what's the population of uh, Sierra Leoneans in the DMV? Overcrowded. What's the population (laughs) of Sierra Leoneans in the DMV? Bruh, go to White Oak. You, no, White Oak, Riverdale. What's the, what's the population of Sierra Leone in the UK? It's probably the same. Like, what's the number? Two well, two actually, seven. London. Because I don't really know the ones out. The ones that what, are outside city, of you, London. You're from London, right? I'm yeah. Two to say she will not date or marry Sierra Leone. How about you? Um. Well, <laughs> mm. I had that preference in the past. Mm. And then I ended up dating a Sierra Leone for like a long time. So I don't really mind now. I just not in a bad way. Don't really know if I'll go anywhere past West Africa. <laughs> Jay, yeah, my brother. I don't. I'm definitely not dating a Sierra Leone. See, what's wrong See? with you? <laughs> <laughs> Why? We're not that bad. Whoa, you're not that bad. You don't know her. <laughs> nah, if she's friends with Tutu, me, I've known Tutu for a long time. Even though Tutu gets on my nerves sometimes, I know her for a long time. Look and Tutu's Tutu probably one of the, the Look at Tutu most. I, let me find out where to not get back to you. Sensible Sierra Leonean women that I know. All these other Sierra Leonean women, even even some of my okay. own family members. Somebody said nah. that Salon girls are dangerous. Yeah, very, I've heard that as very well. Very much so. Y'all are vi- y'all violent. Yeah, yeah, y'all have some. I saw that streams. tweet the other day. Um, they're violent. They're crazy. Um, the us men are crazy too. But <laughs> like, the Warriors are crazy. Y'all crazy? Now nah, we we the I best from West Africa. You ever been with a Cameroonian guy? Change your life. <laughs> it really won't. <laughs> well, I, don't know, I, don't, no. I don't. I don't. I don't. Where is your girlfriend from? That doesn't matter. Where is she from? Cameroon. Cameroon. <laughs> uh you. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so you are just out of this conversation. <laughs> Come nah. on, men are the best. Nah, this women or men? What? He said men are the Cameroon best. Cameroon men are the best. Yeah. Why? Wow. Cameroon is that the first Cameroonian woman or female that I ever dated? Yeah. Mhm. Yes. Oh. Yes. You gonna marry? Why are you looking at me? No, <laughs> because I was trying to remember where I have been. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah. I think uh, before I had a, I, I had a, little, I had a serious thing about Ghanaian girls, but that quickly ended. Why? Uh, I will never date a Nigerian girl, especially Ebo. Why? Oh. Uh, yeah, they're crazy. Uh, yeah. I used to like Ebo boys. That's you like used all to. I used to date. And then what? Oh. All I used to like. And then what happened? To. That you don't like no more. No, I just. Gave someone else a chance, and then, but now I don't really mind as long as your personality is really nice <laughs> and you have good looks. And time. Why are you kissing your teeth? That's, such a That's how I am. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm just really saying. Nice and me, you know. no, like I like if okay, like if I meet a guy or like I've seen guys and. They're not the best looking. I don't obviously if they have that opinion about me. I that's up to them, but they have really good personalities. But something has to attract me to you as well. That's true. What's a so, what's a what's a major turn off um when it comes to dating African men in general? They're too controlling and demanding. That's a lie. <laughs> no, there's some that are See? Yeah, that I like that. Um I can hear you messing like with the, the thing. 
You can't hear me. Oh, sorry. oh yeah, no, you fine. You fine. Um, I don't. I have to think. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm. A, I'm. A, how old are you? Twenty-seven. Okay. So yeah. Dang. That's that's messed up, man. We ain't got no hope out here, bro. Well, as African man, as African man, yes, uh, we are too controlling. That that's a big fat lie from the pit of hell. I think I know. I think I think it depends on the woman though too. I think it, it's like what certain women allow. I think based how some women were raised, mm-hmm. because their fathers may have been controlling and demanding so they that they see and fall it's into that. Yeah, and then there's other women who are like, I want to do anything for my man. So if he says jump i'm gonna ask him how high me <laughs> me mm. capita i me oh the day that ever happens bruh i wish somebody would try that with me even like the whole like See what i say about sailor and your women even the whole no <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> no you're not gonna tell me like there's a difference between like doing something for your man and being told what to do like being demanded to do something like you're not gonna demand me like i have parents you are not my father okay so you're not gonna talk to me any type of way and think that I'm just gonna do it. Like there's girls that do that. Nah, it's not that deep. Right, let me ask. So you say that right? Mm-hmm. Just one fine question. All right. When it comes to like marriage, right? When you get married, mm-hmm. certain men expect for a meal to be prepared for them at home every day. Is that a de- is that them demanding that, or is that you wanting to do that for your man? No, that's the. If you come home, listen. If I'm cooking, right, and I've already cooked everything and I put in the bowls and everything, when you come home, there's food for you. That's that. So, I mean, like, it's not like if you ask for something, obviously, okay, cool. If you want it, what you want to eat, that's fine. Cool. I don't know about the whole thing about cooking every day, though. Yeah, that's cooking made, every day, though. Okay, if I made stew on a Monday, uh-huh. and there's at least enough to go for the next two, three days, then we're eating that. Unless. <laughs> unless. <laughs> we're no eating that. You. Unless. <laughs> it's like, okay, it's gone to like day two or three, and you're just like, oh, I feel for something else. And I'm like, okay, let's make something else. But mm-hmm. well, I'm not in the kitchen every day. So what if I've come from work too and I'm tired? If we have a child, there's things to do as well. Mm-hmm. Like it's 50-50. Obviously, I don't expect... Okay, as a woman, obviously some people may not agree with me. There are things that you can't even say, oh, your, your husband has to do, your husband has to do. Because mm-hmm. it's just a woman thing. Mm-hmm. Like you don't want a guy to say to you that as a woman, you should be doing... Don't ever let a guy say that to you. Because that's when you know that, oh something's not right like <laughs> because i don't know where it is but like the people that i've been around um what was i gonna say again yeah the people that i've been around like guys for the for a guy to sit there and say oh as a woman you're not doing this whatever they have observed you they've watched they haven't said anything for them to open their mouth say that's an insult for you to tell me that as a woman you should be doing this if you don't do that but you shouldn't be told that I don't know how you're raised and people that you're around, you should already see it and know, okay, let me just do this. But then there's taking the piss as well. Mm. Like some guys do take the mick. They're just like, oh, you have to do it for me. No, I don't. Dang. Bro, she's bad in the UK accent when that joint just sounded, that joint just hit different. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, I, can't, I can't imagine a silly UK person like spazzing. Like, all no, I hear is that Creole and then that accent, yay! <laughs> but we don't no, have no. an accent when we speak Creole. Every, it just sounds the same like every other person. Mm. It's speaking Americans of, that sound different when they speak Creole. Speaking of Africans, uh, one big thing that happened with no, you know, sorry, go back to the Coro Coro. Afro Nation, Puerto Rico. Oh, <laughs> man. All my Afro Nation goes. Unite. <laughs> did, did y'all get y'all refund yesterday? <laughs> Tusa, you was going? We were both going. That oh, was you, that's why you came here so I can go. Yeah, I was going to go as well. Sis. I'm... But I didn't buy my ticket for Afro Nation. She didn't buy her ticket for Afro Nation. But, but people I was got, going to buy the ticket. People got refunds and then though. I was watching like how this whole coronavirus thing was going one. Two, I was watching how people were commenting on the things. So I said, let me wait until like close to the time. Maybe I'll buy a ticket then. And then when I came in, they were talking about all of them getting a refund and stuff. I said, oh, thank God. You know what's so funny? So I have a really good friend that's uh, that was promoting for Puerto Rico. Mm-hmm. Like my man's had five parties laid out for day after day after day after day yo i know he's going through it right now because they oh, have sh- not Promoted. only did they shut down puerto rico they shut down nightclubs 
curfew. Mm. Everything. There's a curfew at 9 p.m. He's a big promoter out here. There's people who actually still went. Yeah, I was actually I was yeah, yeah, begging went. her. I was like, let's just go, let's just go. And I was for like, you know what? Forget you... it. No, I was gonna go. Mm-hmm. And you ain't gonna stop me. I was yeah, gonna I go. Her, and and she said it. she wasn't going. I said, well, sis, I'll meet you back when I come back. <laughs> but then what really shut it down? My mom was like, if you enter this house, eh, and, come... and you come back from Puerto Rico, me and you will hold on to that. I was like. Never mind, y'all. I'm gonna just sit mom's down. Mom's about that life. Mom's about that mom's life. Mom's about that life, bro. <laughs> My mom shut it down for both of us. She was like, "You guys not going anywhere." I was like, "All right, sis." What was y'all plans when y'all hit Puerto Rico for Afro Nation? ATVM. How long were y'all gonna be there? Till Monday. So we were gonna leave. It was like just a weekend. To we're gonna leave Wednesday, Monday. Thursday, uh-huh. Thursday, and then come back Monday. Because they shut down travel. Like they didn't shut it down. Why did it take them so long to cancel it? Like every the video can't yeah. everything Afro was canceled. Afro yeah, Afro because I used was... to read the comments like every well, I used to people post it, but I went onto the actual page and read the comments and people kept asking them like, Are you guys not like yeah, you know, it's like that the virus and everything? And to be fair, they should have shut it down from February or January because Afro Nation, everyone wants to go to it and it's a big crowd. Mm-hmm. Like people went in Ghana and people went to Portugal last year, so they're definitely gonna go to Puerto Rico. No one's been to Puerto Rico. There's also something like, oh, I want to go to Puerto Rico. The fact that they did it there, there was loads of people coming from London. Facts. Like I had my friends message saying, "Now oh, we're gonna meet you in Puerto Rico." I'm like, yeah. Damn. But then they were just sitting there, and I just don't, I don't know why, but hey, African people like money, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my group chat. Two of my homies were going. Yo, they were so sick. I was so blown. They were so mad. Let me tell you, as soon as they, as soon as I seen the the Flyer. tweet mm-hmm. from the governor, it was like emerge state of emergency, and then she was like curfew. I call my base so quick. Hello, fraud. Uh, please, can I get my money back for this affirmation, please? I call my bank so quick. Uh huh. And so they refunded me my money back. Some people, people who got their tickets from uh, Eventbrite, got their money easy. Cause they didn't buy it directly from Afro Nation Puerto Rico. So I got it from I got it from Europe too. So I don't know what's happening. But, but I think now because everybody's trying to get their money, money back. back, yeah. So it's slowing down the mm-hmm. process. Speaking of that, with flights, cause I got one of them cheap flights to Dallas. We're supposed to go, <laughs> we're supposed to go to Dallas this Friday. Um, but you know, people I was gonna go see shut it down. How like you think air air, air flights gonna like air um, prices gonna be like this? No, nah, like they gonna refund or they just gonna give us no, like no, vouchers? No, we didn't get our money back. Mm-mm. Hey. No, that's we got, all, we got you. It's always up to the airline. That's why whenever you buy those tickets, they ask you if you, if you want to buy insurance. that insurance. Yeah. I, so I got insurance. No, oh, but, yeah, even, yeah, but, you know, but even still, though. You won't get I'm your so, money I'm back. You'll, get a, like, travel you'll get a travel credit, though. Yeah, even United. United and Delta, because we booked with Frontier. No, United should have given you. No, it's travel credit. Everybody's Every, travel everybody's credit. Travel it's credit. a policy. Like, there, Air, it's no, a policy. Because of Corona. Yeah. Because they, they, they lose money. Announced that if people want to get their money back, they can get their money back now. Sis, these airlines don't United, do that. United Airlines. Oh, no. they may be for international people then. Probably mm-hmm. that's what it is. Because yeah. um, Frontier, they was like travel credit, and she's like, "Well, you need a book within like the next thirty or sixty days." I said, "Sis, where am I going? Where can uh, I go?" No, but that's what. That, but that's what these airlines do. They do that intentionally because they never want to get their money back. They're never gonna give. Well, you your now money they're back. definitely not trying to give money back because they're losing of, money. Yeah, man. So like, I heard that one of the airlines borrowed like how much billion yeah. or trillion or whatever because yeah. that's how bad their things are going right now probably like frontier spirit i'm trying to just buy all my flights now <laughs> how are you gonna go back because border oh i can go back how you're allowed to get back to your original country they're like get out of here to... with that corona <laughs> yeah you're just not allowed to like come <laughs> enter yeah, so when is you when are you going days. back i don't know if you i'm going back in two weeks oh okay oh, you here here <laughs> do you work out there do i what mm-hmm. no you don't work what work out here or there. back home? Oh yeah, 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 I do. Hi, that was bad but to I see. have like a lot of leave, so. What do you do? I work in the eye department in NHS. What is Admin. that? Tap, tap in. No, 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 no. You, you good? It was just that. What does oh. that mean? Eye department in HS? The eye department. Your eyes. Optometry. Oh. Yeah. Gotta sound smart. Optometry. Look at you. Because you have glasses. Yeah. <laughs> and and NHS, I'm assuming, is the National, National Health, Health. So, yeah. Service. How did how did Brexit affect you? Um, Damn, I'm taking it there. <laughs> well, what we haven't break- actually been hit properly yet because it doesn't go into break down, break down proper proper things. Break down Brexit for the dummies like us over here. I don't know if I'm putting. Okay, you on the spot. I don't follow Brexit like that. If mm-hmm. that's what you're coming to ask me, like I I get drilled for it every single day mm-hmm. that I don't follow it. But um, is it, it a bad? Hasn't, 
Huh? Is it a bad thing for UK or a good thing in your view? I don't know. No, it's definitely a bad thing. Oh, it's just okay. that no one actually knows how bad it's going to be until when it goes into full action because I think it goes into action at the end of this year or the beginning of next year. Dang. So, like, well, the pound, I know that's dropped. So, like, our money's just mm -hmm. nonsense. Because before, when we used to change, like, money, especially towards dollars, mm -hmm. used to get a lot more. Now, if I change, like, I 100 like pounds or, like, 110 bucks. They only probably give me like ten or fifteen dollars on top of it. Yeah, it's like one point five. Yeah, anymore. it's not. Yeah. It's not that good anymore. So okay, last question on that. You used to maybe the, I, I'm ignorant. Is you used to be able to go to Europe, go to UK and take a train or a bus and go to like Germany or whatever? Can you still do that? That's all I care about. Uh, um, you can still do um the train to Euro, like Eurostar yeah. from London to like France and I think Germany. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how that's gonna be affected in Brexit. I I I don't follow Brexit the way I'm supposed to, but I'm not a politics person. You get your eyebrows and your eyelashes done by the same person. No, no. Do you get your mustache waxed by? The same <laughs> Why do we have to have a mustache? <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, your top lip. So your top, top lip. lip. So no, your I don't get lip? my top lip done. So what about your chin? Why? You gotta pull. You gotta. We don't have that hormone. No. Okay. Some girls do. I've seen. I've yeah. seen. No, there's some girls. Let me keep quiet. <laughs> what, 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 why don't you get your eyelashes and your eyebrows by the same because person? Because not everybody do the same Actually, thing. Actually, to be fair, I've had someone that used to do my eyelashes and they could do eyebrows really well. But if you can't, you're not touching my eyebrows. My nail eyebrows lady is different eyes. from my eyebrow lady. Mm -hmm. She knows how to do eyebrows, but I just prefer the other person off of my nails. Mm -hmm. But then when it comes to like my eyelashes, my eyelashes, I don't really like, I've only done like, like the lashes that Helen has, like on, like individuals. I've only done that if it's like special, Wait. special. Okay, so let me oh, let me break it down for y'all real quick. What? I've got individuals on. So she has so individuals on. I have strips on. Eyes, the What's the difference? Okay, so like, shout out to my twenty-five millimeters night. lashes. Twinkle, 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 twinkle. So those are individuals, and they come off when they're ready to come off. Mine, I could literally just snatch them off. So they were implanted, kind of. Basically. So you don't. So that lasts longer. Well, to put them on, yeah. Yeah, but but hers doesn't, do it, it doesn't come off until it's like ready that. to come off. So which one is better? It depends. It depends. On what you like. I personally yeah. don't like them because it's irritating. Like I need to be able to. Boop, 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 Girls boop, really boop, do boop. go through a lot. Yeah, yeah that, man. Some people like to be on the go and they just rather have like the glue, you know, extension. So Period. Have time of the day they get the strip on lashes. So what about eyebrows? Like, what's the difference between waxing and threading? Okay. Is this uncomfortable for y'all? No. No. Okay. So I, I, feel like I, I feel like I'm watching National Geographic right now. Wow. Like, in her wild That's natural shade. habitat. That's the whole shade. National Geographic for animals. Okay, listen, let me tell you. So, threading lasts longer. Threading hurts more, though. It's painful, though. It's painful. Microblading? Like, no, microblading is different. I have heard that. That's painful as yeah. well. Yeah. What is microblading? <laughs> so That's when they tattoo the joint. Your, your they hip to the moment. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Hair strokes on your eyebrows. Yeah. They add to your eyebrows. Like Basically, Bruh. Yeah. Yeah. The reason why I know this is because one of our guests, she 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 has a, a eyelash thing shop. Mm. She makes bank. Bruh. Bruh. She got these lashes. Seven employees. They all make. Bank. These lashes, yeah, getting people bank. money, bro. They do. These lashes. Well, you guys are more expensive than the UK, though. Because you guys charge individually, right? Like, for each lash, right? No. no. So, you get a set it's price. Set. It depends oh, on it? how you want it. If you want it to be, like, bold, classic then it, bold, yeah, you get classic, glam, all that other what's stuff. What's the cheapest? Like The classic, which no, might I'm, be, like, Seventy dollars. Yeah, no. So they have classic. That's they have expensive. vintage. They have modern. <laughs> yeah. So you have classic. You've got Russian. You have glam. You've got wispy. Mm -hmm. um, I got wispies. So then you got the Russian wispy. Yeah, yeah. All right. So. Yeah. Set, which yeah. Is like 120, so talk. Yeah, I'm not paying that. Talk to us about. Talk to us about what y'all don't like about eyelashes. When you see another girl, it's like move her eyelashes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. I was, you, he, 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 he knows, he knows. Your eyelashes, eh? I don't like the one where it's like, you know what I'm saying? Some girls be having, it look like this, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that joke be like, that's too much. Um, 
I yeah. don't like seeing the glue. Your last, yeah, if I can see the glue. Do you have a problem? It's a problem. I should, your glue should not be on your eyelid. Your glue should not be like down here. Like your eyelash needs to be on your eyelid. Like the band of your eyelid, it needs to be there. It doesn't need to be below. It doesn't need to be up here. Like I shouldn't see that at all. Well, That's just me. Small, get the right size for your lash. Or you cut it. Big and lashes so weigh your eyes down. Mm -hmm. How do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just you stuck. Can tell from people like you can see no, that their but... eyelashes are heavy. Just yeah. Does it feel heavy? No, it no, looks heavy. It looks heavy. You, you can like, tell. But my question Because their is, eyelids are like, they can't carry the eyelash. Yeah. So why all Dang. this, why do all of this for some eyelashes that God already girls. gave you? Yeah, ask the girls. Enhance. Those are the DC girls. Those oh, are the red girls. they didn't ask you the, the place <laughs> no. that they came from. Please. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Those are the DC the red girls. Did the eyelashes be touching the ceiling? No, but I'm saying, but why all the hassle? Like, what's the purpose? Like, why do girls... Want to put on eyelash. Okay, why I do, do you want to get a shape up? Mm. That's different. Exactly. It's My not hair, different. No, that's different. <laughs> why girls want to wear makeup? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Some girls need. See, that's the thing. Oh. I, oh. I'm not into too much, too much oh. makeup. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't even catch what you, what you, what you yeah. what? Are you gonna be on your own, that's bro? Hard. That's hard. <laughs> to some of the most beautiful women that I know that don't need makeup. No, here's my issue with makeup. I think makeup is fine. When it becomes a point where... You need it. Not even need it. <laughs> when you plaster yourself to look like a clown, that's too much makeup. Yeah. Like, there should be no reason why you have on... Like, there's, there's a girl that I know who does makeup, and that little... I think it's, I think it's contouring. Yeah. Contour. Brown thing. Yeah, but it's like... She doesn't blend it in. When you and take you a picture, like a... And you, you take the picture, and all you see is that like oh, I that's hate too much that. flashback right there. She didn't blend. No, it's right. not the. She didn't not blend flashback. anything. She didn't blend. She didn't blend anything. Yeah, that's she didn't blend. And your it's face just looks so. And then when I look at your face, and your face color is different from your neck color. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm be looking at myself. Like we outside, I can't wear a white shirt around you. I can't. No, you <laughs> your, no. no, listen, when you give somebody a hug and cuck, cause that's a ha that has happened to me before. So that's when when I see people and they try to give me a hug, I be like, nah, it's like I be like, I have makeup on my face. So I'm just trying to do wear a lot of makeup here then. No, I don't wear a lot of makeup. After Corona, I didn't get makeup on my clothes. I can wear any color. No one puts makeup. No, but you give somebody a hug now. Yeah. No makeup touching me. I don't know. Who, okay. Like even my own makeup like doesn't touch people like that. I don't know. Maybe it's just That's how I do it. That's because she used the right um, setting spray. Yeah, setting spray. And I don't like. To I know these things too. Don't come from me. I'm proud of you. I'm heard... proud of you because homeboy on on this side. I, I don't know what's home? happening. Do girl, my girl does bare makeup, bare minimum. Makeup. Some girls don't need makeup. Yeah. Exactly. Some girls just want to put makeup on. I don't need makeup. <laughs> I, I feel like some, there are on. some girls here that don't need it, and then when they put it on their face, they're like, "Wow, it's just like." You oh. think I need makeup? I've known you for a very long time. I don't Fuck think, you think I'm I need prior makeup. To the proper guy to answer. That. I, oh, hey, you wow. took too long. <laughs> you took too long to answer that. <laughs> How often do I see you without you makeup, though? I don't wear makeup. I mean, but that's what I'm saying. You don't saying. even How look like you wear I makeup. You? I just know. You, I just. I see this. This, this is, is fine. if there was an example of. I just want to actually make it look nice. If you're gonna wear makeup, I always say that if you're gonna wear makeup, make sure that it looks natural. natural even yeah. though you have it on. Do you wear makeup right now? No. Okay. But like, yeah, I, I can tell you make makeup. Make no, I think the lip okay. gloss is popping. That's that's. Like yeah, it looks like you have lips like dog foul. <laughs> 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 I only wear makeup when I'm coming to the podcast or I'm going out. Yeah. I don't wear makeup like so that. So why, why y'all, you know, got the nails and everything? Y'all going out? No, I like doing my nails. I always, I always do my nails. Do my nails and How the often? One thing I don't play around is my nails. I when think that's due. mandatory. I think girls should get their it's, nails done. You, that's, well, it's just as much so, as a guy. I've been doing my nails there. constantly for the past four or yeah, five I, years. I, yeah. I don't mind spending, putting what? on that bag just to for my girl to get her nails done. So y'all got... Huh? I don't mind. What? I would, I would pay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't hear you. Right, that's the cool. The question that's cool. is, how much are you giving your Are you girl? mad? I'll give you whatever I give. <laughs> no. So, this, personally, personally. That thing every week? Not every no, week. No, no, you don't do every week. week. If no. your girl asks you for money every week, there's a problem. problem. Yeah. Okay. When I give my girl money, I make sure she's set for, like, the entire day. So, her nails, her mm -hmm. feet, mm -hmm. her wax, mm -hmm. uh, brows if she wants to. Come on! 
Corona and Corona has unemployed you. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't tricking if you got it. Oh, my you brother. know what? I can actually attest to him because he's actually paid for my nails before. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah I don't mind that. I think I think nails is a necessity for women. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't. Like, I, I, don't I, I, I do, my do nails it every four to five weeks. <laughs> is it what catch up is over? I got you. If tongue. I see if I see you with bummy nails, I which is rare. If I see my girl with bummy nails, uh, bummy nails, which is rare, I just send money. I just be like, I commend and y'all. then the, the the emoji will be, you know, the little. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, that, that, y'all are trash. Y'all are so shady. Be like, get your nails that you gonna send the nail emoji like twenty dollars like this. Be like this. Yeah. I love it. I feel like that's the easiest thing for any man can do for their girl. Is just I'm like, so proud of y'all. Y'all make me so, so proud. So y'all got y'all got eyelash, eyebrows, nails, and makeup. What is you know? Cause you, you know this whole thing with beard. What about the brothers who ain't who ain't got beards who are bald headed? Let's talk about you know what I'm saying for the guys. What do y'all like for us mm. to keep neat and put together and stuff like that? <laughs> what do you like to keep? What would you like to, for us? The stuff ugly. that you don't like that dudes do, or stuff that you want dudes to do. Like you know, what I'm saying we want you know no too much makeup. Me and Charles mm-hmm. are on the same. Mm-hmm. Nails did, hair did, everything. You know what? I never used to be a fan of a beard. I used to hate it. Like I used to hate. What changed your mind? My ex. Who? What like, was he doing? I know yeah. it's not that, but I liked like I don't know like I just like because he used to look after his beard like it was always like neat and stuff so good and it look good people don't really clean their beards i don't really know there's some people i don't really care for me you can have a beard i know they don't have a beard that's fine i think we used to like facial hair and stuff Mm -hmm. but now i don't really mind i don't know my preference has changed with a lot of things so what what about manscaping how do you feel about manscaping um what's that okay so manscaping Mm. is just like shaving yeah shaving um it's high it's hygiene so you're a man oh. shaving their armpits their pubic hairs their, oh. their legs their arms stuff like um, that yeah, yeah i don't mind to shave because you don't shave you know there's sweat down in places and stuff like that you yeah. need to like so would you ever mess with a guy that like does not just chooses not to shave at all um <laughs> just not at all like okay you, i wouldn't you could... say yeah and i wouldn't say no because the mm. only reason why is because Okay, I'll give you like the benefit of the doubt, like the first few times I'm like, okay, but you would, need to you get rid of some yeah, you need to, we'll have to have a conversation. And, he, and he's like, Look, I'm uh I'm a Marlian, I'm Rasta. <laughs> okay, but I okay shave, I don't believe in putting clippers. <laughs> but listen, no, you're but like, like, okay, like, okay, okay, go if, if you plan your hair to do can't be the same length <laughs> under your armpit as like my hair or like my, <laughs> you or my can't natural hair. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> if you're at least like a bush under your armpit, you stuff with your other person. And you want to do stuff with that person. You expect me to do that with you. And I have hair follicles in my mouth. I know homies I went to college with. And I went to college in 2010. We in 2020. And they Yeah. Yeah. No, I took my mom to have that conversation with me. My mom had that conversation. <laughs> I like, I like the no, vulnerability. No, so, wait. L- no, let me tell you I how like that. that. Let me tell you, that sounded weird. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me, let me back to So you didn't shave or anything? No, so this is when I was like 20, right? So I was going through have... a phase. Huh? Was you going through a phase? I mean, I was getting older. <laughs> so I had never really shaved down there or up here before. So oh, what happened was I no, was in my mom house. had that conversation with my brother when he was 13, boy. But no. she said the first time she's like, yeah, okay, this is what you I use. I think I was 16. I don't, I don't even think I this was 20. This is the I soap and this is how you do it. So when you have your time, you go and do it for yourself. My mom gave my brother that talk from when he started growing hair. She's like, yeah, you need to... In my house, we don't do this. No, so my mom dirty. said my brother. So what actually happened was I was Aye. walking around the house. I was probably had my shirt off. It was really, it was my armpit hair. Um. And she was just like, mm. like she made like one of those types of faces. And then, you know, salon cos. Yeah. You, you give me some Are you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I was like, nah, I thought, I thought that was like, I'm just going to say it. I thought that was um, very feminine. Excuse me. I thought it was very feminine, like. You want a tissue? Please. Kuro, kuro. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought it was very feminine, like. So I was like, "All right, yeah, I'm not doing that." She was like, "Feminine, like," and then she was like, "She told my brother." She was like, "Go and tell your brother to be doing this." So then my brother said, "He's like, yo, you don't, you don't do that at all." I was like, "No." He was like, "Me at this my grown age, 
I do it. <laughs> and I shift down there. And then I, he, he had like a, a real in-depth conversation with me. He was like, I, he was like, yeah, it makes your schlong look bigger. <laughs> what is happening? I'm just saying. <laughs> that's why I, as of now, I manscape, but I only manscape certain areas. So like, like I, I like I don't like hair on my chest. Do you like men with hair on their no. chest? Do you like men? What if What about a man who shaves their legs? Why? I just think that that's very feminine. There's some things I will shave. No, I was gonna say why Why are you shaving your legs? Men do that. Some men don't. Some, do that. some girls. Yeah. Some girls. No, I don't. Some girls might. might some like guys that in general don't actually like hair anywhere. That's true. There are some guys that are, if that's what you want to do, that's up to you. But I don't really mind. It doesn't bother me. Okay. So what about you two? Do you right. think, would you, do you judge somebody if they do that? You don't think that's feminine? If you're shaving your legs though, I'm like, why are you shaving your legs? I'm supposed to be shaving my legs. What about men who get ma- uh, manicures and pedicures? Nope. I'm down Okay, I know someone that gets their Listen, feet. I like, do my feet, feet and nails. Exactly. Like, like, I have tried to get my friends like, let's go do our feet. They're like, sorry. I'm just like. There's nothing with doing your feet. There's nothing like, wrong. Yeah. Like when my dad travels international to like salon or places, my mom be like, Sa, Come let's go do your foot. Like, <laughs> go do your feet. And at least like, there's nothing wrong with that. Like his, his nails, there's nothing wrong with his nails. He won't do his nails, but at least his feet. I yeah. do more. African man feet. I do more. Y'all feet, bruh. Hey, nah, chill out. My feet. <laughs> I got some good feet. Y'all feet be on a whole lot level, I got some man. good feet, all right? Like, have you ever done that before? Done what? Like manicure or pedicure? Yeah, I just did it last month. <laughs> <laughs> That's in my book today. Come on. He looks at him like, what, what are you doing? Have you done it? Have you done it? Do it. Do I go. It. I think I need to take y'all. No, nah, Bae's trying to convince You'll me. You'll pay? I, t- I I'll told Bae I would go with her one time, but I'll I will actually have pay. I will pay for you to go. We cheap. I joint's cheap. $20. It is, literally. Oh, uh, that's it? Yeah, That's $20. It. You just go there, watch the joint. Pedicure, That's yeah. to put yeah. you just jelly on your feet, yeah. everything. I'll pay. I'll I started. Pay for y'all. I started so. doing it because I used, I used to get ingrowns when I played soccer. I got ingrowns. So that's how I started. Mm. Yeah, and then I was your like, "Yo, this thing's nice." And everything your toes is nice. Now, I just like sitting on the chair and getting a little back massage. Yeah, you get that at the same time. It's fake teens. Get your <laughs> feet and hands done. But yeah, you pay. I actually pay. Okay. I will actually pay for y'all. Bet. I feel this is how it must feel when it's all <laughs> shrugging. Wow, shrugging. here y'all go. <laughs> when are we going? When y'all ready to go? Two, two, this is I, this is the second promise I made no, to listen, you. No, listen, because I still got you for the first Howard Theater. Ooh, I still got you. You thought I forgot? Um, two, two, sis. I got two artists. Uh, Ho- Hoti, look at this boy. Hoti, Hoti. There's a lot. I heard there was there was a live concert. Yeah, there's a live concert happening tonight. Yo, shout out to the to the artists involved. Two of them are mine though. They did a concert tonight. Yes. Yeah, live concert. Live concert. Online concert. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's like, uh, Corona? Yo, you know what I just you thought You can watch about? it from your living room on your phone. You know what I just thought about? What's that? Yo, today was supposed to be the day of our live show. Yes. Bro. Um, corona. Anti Corona. Corona. I hope you'll live by May. <laughs> Please. My birthday's in May. Please. So it's flexes. And, yeah. book and my release. book. My little book. Release. Not his little book, though. My little book. Release. Man. My, that don't What's your book about? It's a romance novel on tribalism and love. Oh. It's based on the story. It. Have you ever experienced tribalism? I don't think that's necessarily a good thing. I don't think so. Hmm? We mm-hmm. had this conversation last time. I almost, almost, the characters in the book, I almost made the main, one of the main characters from Serial. But I was like, I've never had that. Well, your, your, your sister or cousin from last week experienced it. Oh, yeah. What did she say? Yeah. Well, she experienced it, but shut up. <laughs> well, well, not experienced it, but you know, she said she yeah, knew somebody, yeah, knew yeah. somebody. Shut up. <laughs> not her. It wasn't her. But anyway, yeah, I, I don't know like if that's a thing like in Sierra Leone, but mostly. What did she say? Oh, probably wasn't shit that I don't know. Oh. It was. She was talking about somebody that she knew or experienced. Oh, it. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah she didn't start. Yeah, because we have all, even in religion, we don't even do that too. I think. Um, cause Sierra Leone is Muslim majority, yeah, it's majority Muslim, mm-hmm. um, but there's Christians and you can intermarry mm-hmm. no matter the tribe. Like for example, um, my tribe, my father is Mende, so I'm Mende by my father mm-hmm. and then, that. um, shut up. <laughs> and then me and Tutu That's share nice. a similar tribe. It's not Timini. nice, you know, saying that. Oh, your mom's Timini. <laughs> yeah, my mom's it's Timini. Timini you, know, you know that? You Timini? Oh, Timini team. You Timini? My mom's Timini and Mende. Yeah. And, yeah, so Mende and my dad is Limba. And you're... What are you? Timini Limba. 
I'm Mende Timini Creole. Oh, wow. Ah, that combination, eh? That combination is crazy. No, 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 no. Yeah. Well, no live show today. May 5th, my birthday and my book release. Technically, we having a live show because you having a live concert. Live con- Yes, tune in. YouTube, oh. live concert. Stay six feet away. What, you sing or you rap? Both. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Come off a road. You need a backup dancer for today? How you gonna dance with Crocro? Really? <laughs> you got back up, man. Back up. What's uh, Michael Dapper? Back up. We need uh, centimeters. <laughs> you saw that video. I, I do this cannot. clown, yo. Me but uh, this was dope. Appreciate you, Helen, kicking it with us. Oh, Helen. Mm-hmm. Wait, let's. We should do a this or that. Well, Helen. You got the questions? Mm-hmm. I, don't I don't have a question, but I can, we can come up with, with things what off the top it? of the head. So it's this or that. So I, I tell you, ask you two things, and you have to choose between. Here we go. You ready? Um, you ready? Just real quick. Tennessee or tequila? Tequila. Mm. Black guys or, or white guys or Caucasians? That's that's a good question for a UK person. Black guys. <laughs> Popeyes or KFC? Popeyes. How how did Popeyes did you did you did that whole craze about Popeyes hit there over oh there? No, God. I just like Popeyes. I liked Yo, when I was young. The first week that she was here, <laughs> Popeyes. She wanted it. Yo, she ate Popeyes the whole first week. <laughs> now she's on Slurpees crave. Like she's on a whole Slurpee wave. Beer beer or dark? Let's talk again. Dark liquor. Like dark Tennessee. Dark. Or whatever. I'm just thinking on the fly. Dark. You're trifling. Spotify or Apple Music? Apple Music. Heels or sneakers? Sneakers. Twitter or Instagram? Instagram. Ooh. Sierra Leone or Cameroon? Sierra Leone. <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> Come out of my platform. It's in my house now. <laughs> no, that was dope though. See? Beard, that. beard or, or clean shave? Beard. Bald or hair? Or hairline? Shape hairline. Up. Jordans or Nike? Nike. 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 Nike or Adidas. <laughs> Nike or Adidas. <laughs> Nike. <laughs> That's a good one. Adidas. Huh? I like her. Adidas. 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 UK. Adidas. 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 Mm. Nike. Would you move to America? Yeah, we need to convince her to move to America so she can be my roommate and then we can have like the best of fun. The UK is too cold. Rain every time. Um, yeah, but... All they say is Pippi Cheerio anyways. No, we and, don't say that. And drink tea. Are you crazy? We don't say that. <laughs> what does that mean, Pippi Cheerio? God bless Ask the queen. Because she's doing that same oh, all the time. So how oh, do you, shoot. How what, do you feel about is the queen right now? What about her? <laughs> hey, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> how about Merkel? Ma- 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 what, what her name? Megan? Megan Markle? Yeah, I love her. But they're not royal anymore. Dang. She's still royal in my eyes. Dang. Is it? Oh. Yeah, don't oh. worry. King Charles is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, Megan, mm. Helen in the building. Ain't that the, ain't that the Queen's son? Two two in the building. I'm in the building. Sir Charles in the building. Oh, yeah, what up? What up? What up? And then Charles, yeah. What's her name? Tom. But he Tom in the building. Though. Flex in the building. Flex in the building. Tune in YouTube live concert. You watch it on your phone. 8 p.m. We're gonna be rapping, singing, all that. I'm gonna be backup dancing. Like yeah. this. I need my bedroom. sentiment. That's I'm gonna be the hype man. <laughs> like, yeah. If you are doing quarantine and chill, quarantine and baby next week, we don't want from nine months now a baby boom. Oh, everybody gonna be having babies. So yeah, that's, please. That's the next like, thing. have you like thought about that? Like people that are doing quarantine. Oh, there's gonna days. be a lot of babies no. in nine months. So that, I think that's you a can't, like, plan. God forbid, if it did happen, like you can't even leave the house to go. No, like, but it's it's meant to happen. So I've been reading a book. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot it, of babies. It's meant to happen. Months. It's supposed to happen. Yeah. Where history did you see that? So I've been reading a book, right? Um about this gen- article is about on generations. On yeah. yeah. Oh, is that so, how they start? Yeah, so after the regular the first baby boom from the nineteen fifties, th- we missed the second baby boom. Oh, so this is the mm-hmm. So we missed two baby booms. But then they, this is so that means they've been doing it for a while then because so no, twenty eighteen, twenty nineteen. Because coupled with that and everybody's home. Uh, yeah. people actually know their wives na- real names now because you know First people oh, was <laughs> running around. Like, dead. Dead. He said the real name. Was it? Was it? You like, that was dead, saying I actually had kids. They predicted that a lot of people are gonna get divorced after yeah. this thing's over. Yeah. Because people yeah. like time. the idea of coming home, going out, coming home, like. Yeah. yeah Twenty four. You know, home. I've got to know my family. They're actually some cool people. You know. Yeah. When did you stay home? <laughs> well, yesterday when we were sitting. Oh. My parents are kind of cool. You know. Yesterday we were just having a little chat. My dad's kind of funny. I love her mom. Me and her mom go way back. Shout okay. out to my mama. Anyways. Yeah. Well, it's talking about the podcast platform for entrepreneurs and various from DMV. From the African descent, we hear stories, ideas, and experience on how we can break the mold. I'm Flex, 2-2 in the building. Helen in the building, welcome to the States from the UK. Please come back. 
Get me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's trying how to put it. Well, <laughs> and we are. Yeah, you get me, man. You get me. Yeah. Oh wow. Nah, fam. You feel me? You get it's me. Like this blood properties, in it properties. No. Say, say it the real way now. You get me, fam. You get, get me, me, fam. I don't even say. I don't even say it like that, though. What is? What is? Cause say it, cause. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> <on> cause. <laughs> <And> we are. <laughs>